Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're now going to be dealing with a math problem that has to do with unit conversions, and more specifically with converting units of time. And uh, the way that you approach this sort of problem is you read the problem that's given to you, and you try to identify the first rate of change um, that's given to you, and you're going to write that one out in fraction form um, right away. So. Let's show you how that happens. A cat burglar robs houses at the rate of one house per 10 minutes. So you're going to write one house here at the top, and you're going to include the um, unit of time by which this, these houses are being robbed here on the bottom. So we know that that happens, one house is robbed every 10 minutes. Um, and then you figure out um, what the final answer should look like. So let's go ahead and see that. If he does this eight hours per day and 10 days per month, approximately how many months will it take the cat burglar to rob 100,000 houses? So what we're worried about here is getting this rate um, to be one over months so that we can figure out how many months have gone by for us to have 100,000 houses here on top. Um, if we try to convert this, for example, if we try to keep it as minutes, we'd have to figure out how many minutes there are in uh, whatever amount of months we finally solve for. And that seems very difficult right now. So what we do is we take a little shortcut, and we're going to multiply this fraction by another fraction that has the unit of time that we use in the denominator, the first one here at the top. So we can cancel that one out and switch it for another unit of time. So we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. And we're going to use hours because we're told that there are only eight hours per day that are being used. So we can cancel out the minutes and multiply across. So we're going to have 60 houses now being robbed every 10 hours. And now this is really useful because it's the same as saying six houses whoops, being robbed per hour. So if we have only eight hours per day where we're robbing houses and we're robbing six houses per hour, um, that's the same as saying that we are robbing um, eight hours per day, 48 houses per day. So that's all well and good. Now we know we're robbing 48 houses per day. Um, but the next thing we need to figure out is how to turn this into months. We know that this is only happening 10 days per month. So we can go ahead and just multiply this by 10. And we're going to know that we're going to be robbing 480 houses per one month. Um, but then we look at our answer choices. And we know that what we're worried about is figuring out um, how many months it will take for us to rob 100,000 houses. Um, but you can't really multiply 480 by any of these numbers and get 100,000 houses. Um, what is important about the question, the way it's asked, though, is that we're looking for an approximate number. So what you want to do when you see this is you hold off on approximating until the very last step. So the step where you come across this problem that we're having now. I can't really multiply this number by one of the given answer choices without approximating or changing this number so that these answer choices make sense. Um, so we've hold, held off on approximating until this point, which is great. And now I'm going to approximate this number by rounding it up to 500. And the reason we're doing that is because once we assume that we're um, robbing, whoops, this is very laggy, that we are robbing 500 houses per month, um, if we multiply this by 200, which is the second answer choice, we're going to have 100,000 houses. So this is the right answer because if we are going to be robbing 500 houses per month approximately, we, if we do that 200 times, we will have robbed 100,000 houses. And 200 times here, where each time is represent, represents one month, would equal 200 months. So we can go ahead and ignore the other answer.